for you to deploy a running pod in Kubernetes, you need these kind of files. You need a deployment file, you need a secret, you need a config map, and any other related file for you to have a running pod. If you have several environments where you need to deploy these same files, it can be quite challenging maintaining all these files. This is where Helm comes into picture. Helm uh, takes all these files and uh, compiles them into one repo. It makes it easy for deployment of the same file. In our tutorial today, we are going to learn how to install Elastic, Elastic Stack using uh, Helm. And you're going to need these four components. We're going to need a file bit to, to be responsible for collecting all the logs from the various pods and send it to uh, Logstash. Logstash aggregate all the logs and then sends it to our Elasticsearch where they will be stored and indexed. And then we can visualize it using Kibana. So let's get started. Uh, make sure you've installed Helm so that you're able to run uh, Helm commands. And with this, uh, the first command will be to add uh, an Elastic repo to a Helm configuration. This command will help us to do that. Then uh, after that, we're going to search our repo to see if we have all the charts that we need. And you can see we have all those charts that we want. We need four of them here. We're going to start with Filebit. I'll make a directory for Filebit and then I will uh, that's where I'll put all the, um, uh, the value file that has the configuration for file bit. Next is this command. Uh, this command uh, retrieves default values from the file bit chart in the Elastic repo and then stores them in a file called values.yaml. And then in the file bit, there's a config file that you need to change. Uh, The file bit config, there's a file bit.yaml. Uh, we let the file bit input uh, remain like that. Just simply, it just simply tells it where to look for the logs. This is the default for most uh, Docker containers. And the next is the output. We will output it in Logstash on the service name and the default port, which is uh, 544. The next thing will be the log stash. I'll just create a directory where I'll put all my, uh, or I'll put all the configuration files for log stash. Uh, the next thing will be to retrieve the default values for log stash uh, using this command as we did earlier for file bit. So there are a couple of things that uh, we are going to change here. Uh, We'll create environment variables. Uh, this will be the elastic uh, username and password. Uh, the files are retrieved, uh, the values are retrieved from uh, Kubernetes uh, secret. This elastic secret will be created when we install Elasticsearch. The secret, the secret name is Elasticsearch Master Credentials, and then the key is the username. Uh, same with the password.
After this, I'll proceed to the log stash config here. The two things that you need to put, that will be the input and the output. Uh, the input will be, I'll be listening to the file bit agents uh, on that port 544. And the output will be on Elasticsearch. Uh, you remember initially when you started our diagram, we go to, we start from file bit, we go to log stash, and then from log stash, we go to Elastic. So our output will be on Elastic uh, search. And the communication between log stash and uh, Elastic is a secure communication. The secret mount, I'll create name, the secret name, and the path where the values of the secrets are. Usually the values are, for this instance, it, it will be the certificates that will be used for uh, secure communication. Also, I'll enable service, usually by default is disabled. This will enable Logstash to communicate with uh, Elasticsearch and uh, the file bit agent. Next, I'll create a directory for Elasticsearch and then I'll, I'll retrieve the default configuration file. In Elasticsearch, uh, I don't think there's any much that you'll need to change up. I'll change the replica from the current uh, 3 and 2 to 1, 1 because of the resources. Next, I'll move to Kibana. In Kibana, also, there's no much to change. I'll just uh, retrieve the file. Uh, After all the configs are set in place, I'll create a namespace for monitoring where I run all the pods. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll do Helm install. I'll start with Elasticsearch so that it's able to create all the secret files. And then I'll do the same for Filebit, Kibana, and Logstash.
and then I'll do a uh, keep CTL uh, service port forward on my Kibana so that I'm able to get the login interface, of which I'll put the credentials, and then uh, from there. Look at CTL get secrets to confirm that all the secrets are created. Let me describe this Elastic Master credential secret so that I'll be able to retrieve the secrets, uh, the credentials that I should be able to log into Kibana. I'll start with the username. Uh, the default username is Elastic, and then uh, for the password. Once you're in now, you'll be able to view all the logs and then you can uh, create all the graphs as uh, required. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next tutorial where we'll look at another great logging uh, stack. We'll set up Grafana, Promptail, and uh, Loki using Helm and then compare it to the Elasticsearch. Thanks. Bye.